everybody and welcome to Yoga Galactica, live streaming to your homes and you can join us here at the Space Shift every Wednesday at noon. So we have Caitlin and Jonathan here for our first class. We're going to launch it off. Um, I'm really quickly going to share this on our Running Canyon page and on my page. So take a minute to find the most comfortable place in your home, make some tea, use the restroom, and get ready for a complete blast off today. We are going to make shift happen. So let me just share this and we'll get going. Buddha. We have our yoga dogs in the house with us. We have our amazing little puppies inside that I may bring out later. We're fostering three little pit bull puppies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and they are kind of, uh, they're beautiful. They're the most <laughs> gorgeous little puppies ever. Let's see. I'm going to share this. Can I share this video? You should be able to. Right? Yes. And good morning, everybody. And while you guys are setting your space, just uh, you can even begin to just drop in to where you're at right now, right here. It's not letting me share to well, my page. Let's do it after that. Okay. Um, we're really grateful to have all of you guys checking out this video. We're really grateful to have Caitlin and Jonathan here, our puppies. and so many things to be grateful for and that's actually a really good part of a meditation that you can do every day is find at least five to ten things that you are grateful for and it perpetuates the flow of prosperity it helps to release any doubt or fear about where we may be in our lives right now and so as you're closing your eyes here just think of Five to ten things. One in the thing. Last. One thing. One thing is, is perfect. <laughs> One too. thing is good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes five is a lot, you know. But even one thing that you can be grateful for is is pretty amazing. Good. So as you're sitting with your eyes closed, getting ready for this practice, something that I wanted to talk about really briefly is. Um, the opportunity to upgrade instead of age. And when you upgrade, you stop, literally stop the aging process because instead of growing older, you start upgrading your system. And we've been doing this for many years now and literally not aging at all. We are staying nice and young and we're growing wiser and stronger and learning new things every day but we are upgrading. So I invite you to join the collective and start upgrading your life instead of aging. Can you move those puppies over there, babe? Yes. And when you do this, when you bring it into your mind that you're going to upgrade and not age, you will see and feel your life change. And upgrading is something you can definitely be grateful for because you can let go of the conventional way of aging. So we... <laughs> We invite you to join us on our upgrading mission. And we're so grateful that you're here today. During our exercises today, if you get dizzy or see stars, please, during the breathing, please place your hands on the ground and take nice, long, deep breaths. Give yourself your all, you guys. You're here to give back to you. So really, really give it your all. We love you. We're so grateful that you're joining us. And let's make shift happen. So finding the most comfortable spot on your mat, Turn your palms up on your knees, close your eyes, and take a deep inhale through the nose. Hold the breath at the top, squeeze it around a little bit, sip it more through the mouth. Think about your intention for class today. Let it penetrate every cell and through a small round mouth powerfully exhale the breath. Hold empty, hold the breath out. See if anything comes in. And just observe yourself with gentle eyes. What do you need to work on? Deep inhale. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Ah. Ah. Shake your hands, head, shoulders, face. <laughs> 
Just make a little noise. <laughs> Good. And then inhale, reach up to the sky, stretch. And as you exhale, bring your hands together, slowly bring them down to the chest, to the heart. Rub the palms, fingers, knuckles, create a little friction and warmth. Deep inhale. And exhale, letting the hands rest at the chest. Notice your breath flowing in and out of your body. Ask yourself to breathe slow and deep, powerful breaths throughout this entire practice today. Become connected to the breath. Feel the heart beating in your chest and just take a moment to thank your heart for being healthy and for its ability to heal. Bow your chin to your chest, and as we bow our heads, we bow to this great planet, Pachamama, Mama Gaia, this earth that gives us every single thing we need to thrive here. Bow to her and take a moment to send the earth a deep prayer of love and gratitude. Bow your head to you. Bow to your health. Bow to your soul purpose, the reason that you're here. If you don't know what it is, ask every day that it's revealed to you. Bow to your journey, everything that it's taken to make you who you are. Deep inhale. And as you exhale with your breath, send a prayer of love and gratitude to you. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, let your hands slide down by your sides. Deep inhale, slide the right arm up, turn to the right. And exhale, coming down onto the right elbow. Reach the left hand up to your hip and just massage the waist and the hip. Breathing, stretching, letting go. And then, inhale, stretch that left arm up to the sky, roll the wrist, exhale, let the left arm fold over that left ear and press your left sit bone down. Breathe here. Shoulders roll down your back. Just imagine. 
back and releasing any strain on the shoulders. Inhale backwards and up, squeeze. Exhale, rolling them forward. Good. Inhale backwards and up. out the back of the neck, 
We hold so many emotions, even stress in our neck and shoulders. So let it go. Every exhale, release. Choose your direction. With an inhale, begin to roll the head. Inhaling back, exhaling forward. Relax your shoulders. What a gift to give back to yourself with love. With intention, with integrity. Let's roll the head in the opposite direction. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Always noticing the difference of each side of the body. Being aware of you. Connecting with this temple that you live within, with love. And on your next inhale, sitting tall. Slow deep breaths here. Good job, Yogi. And when you're ready, just allow yourself to come floating down onto your back on the mat. And just take your time and imagine you're melting like butter on a hot day. Finding this spot, this comfortable spot here for you on your back. Go ahead and begin to deepen your breath. So really bringing that breath down into the belly, into the legs. Let every part of your chest expand with each inhale. From the sides to the bottom, up top. Here we prepare ourselves for some powerful breath work. We're going to share one of our favorite breathing techniques, the Wim Hof breath or the Wim Hof method. And we share this because in two to three short minutes, it can create such a powerful shift within your body, within your mind, within your spirit, your soul. And we encourage you to explore all of those levels, not just the physical aspect, but emotional, mental. So what we're going to be doing is taking about 40 powerful breaths in through the mouth, ideally. If you need to, you can do it through the nose. But these are big, powerful breaths. And then on the exhale, it's a soft exhale and a relax. So big, powerful breath in, soft exhale. We'll do it together. It'll sound like this. So let's do a few here. Try to synchronize, link in. Good, breathe a little bit deeper than you think may be possible. And that's it, good. Three, two, one. And then we go back to long, deep breathing and I'll finish explaining. So when we get to about 40, we're gonna take a nice big deep inhale, hold right at the top, and then you're gonna exhale all the breath out. And in this space, we go into inner space. And this is where we get to sink deep within our body, our spirit, our mind, and go within our physiology. So we encourage you, do your best, have fun, be a fearless explorer, and here we go. So before we begin, take a nice big deep inhale. Open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> to begin, here we go. Four, good, five, that's it. Big breath, breathing in so deep that your chest expands, your belly expands. Two, one, 
together we inhale deeply, fully, completely, hold at the top, and then exhale all the breath out. And you're going to hold right here at the bottom, and this is where we sink into inner space, allow yourself to go deep within, holding at the bottom of the breath for as long as you can. And we encourage you to stay here. And we encourage you to relax your body even deeper. Let go even more. And stay in the space as long as it feels good. Take a nice big deep inhale. Open the mouth, exhale it out. Ah, to begin, here we go. take that big breath in, but stay in this space as long as it feels good. That's it, you guys. Relax, release, surrender, let go. And when you need to, take that nice, big, deep inhale. You're going to pull it all the way in, into the body, into every cell. 
hold right at the top for at least 15 seconds, if not 30 seconds or a minute. Held in, try sipping in a little more breath. And feel your heart. You should feel your heart pumping and beating this freshly oxygenated blood all the way through the body. And when you've held in as long as you can, just let the breath come back to neutral. Slow, smooth, long, deep breathing. And again, scan your body. See how you feel after the second round of this breath. And just know that this is here for you. This breath, this exercise is here for you anytime. And it's if there's one thing you take away from this practice, and hopefully there's more than just one, it's the breath work. Because it's so fundamental to life and to every process in our body, from our brain to our health, our well-being, our digestion. Good, so now what we're gonna do is bring the knees up into the chest and take the hands, wrap them onto the knees and let your legs just rock from right to left. Let your legs be heavy and let those knees move in any direction that feels good. Forward, back, left and right, and see how you feel as you shift and move like this. How does it affect your lower spine and your hips? Good, now what we're gonna do is begin to rock up and down onto the spine. So just rocking up and down, using the legs, using the hips. Try to kick your legs up and over your head, toes towards the earth big, full, rocking motions. That's it, you guys. All the way up, all the way down. See if you can get your toes to kick over your head and maybe even touch the ground. Good, just a few more times. Now we're gonna rock all the way up. And what we're gonna do is begin to balance right on our hips. So let your spine be tall. And then you're slowly going to lean back, so you're going to lift your feet off the ground. And then you're going to bring your legs so they're parallel to the earth right here. Keep the chest lifted and the spine tall. Stare down at your toes and take your hands to your sides. We're going to take five deep breaths right here. And it's okay if the body shakes a little bit, if the body rocks. There we go, three more deep breaths. Exhale, bring the knees in, wrap the arms around the legs, give yourself a giant hug, and then let your nose fall into the knees. And then we take three long deep breaths right here. And with your eyes closed, feeling that subtle flow of energy through the body, just flow all the way up and down the spine, all the way into the legs. Just see it flowing freely, unobstructed. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. So slowly curling up out, release the hands onto the knees. First start with the straight spine, so lift the chest here. And then you're going to begin to balance right on your hips and lift your feet just an inch or two off the ground until you find that balance. And then we're gonna extend the legs straight out. Good, reach the hands out by the legs.
then when you're ready, just allow yourself to unfold into a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat. And keeping your eyes closed here, do your best to stay within, but focus on your posture for just a moment. So let the legs come crossing in, one in front of the other. Feel your sit bones pressing down evenly. And then again, lift through the chest straight up. Pull the shoulders back and down. Feel the shoulders really relaxing heavy. And then the crown of the head is reaching up. The chin tucks in laterally towards the back of the throat. Not leaning forward, but just laterally backwards. Eyes are closed and rolled up and in at the third eye point. Try to really focus in on this spot and lock in. Let the breath be slow, smooth, full, deep breaths. Amazing job, you guys. ourselves, we learn something new, we're upgrading. You're doing the work right now. Deep inhale. Sigh it out. Oh. Take another inhale, sitting right as you are. And as you exhale, begin to walk your hands forward on your mat and just fold your body all the way forward. Wiggle right and left, breathing into your body. Inhale, stretch your hands even further. Exhale, fold a little deeper. And then inhale, roll over your legs. Coming into a tabletop position on your mat with your hands under your shoulders, knees under hips, drop your chin to your chest. With a deep inhale, begin to roll your head and then follow that roll with your hips. Breathing and swirling your entire body. If you encounter any tight spots, Hold in that spot, take a couple deep breaths. Good, let's go in the opposite direction. Rolling the body, rolling the hips and the head and the neck. Looking for those tight spots so we can pause in those spots and breathe slow and deep. center deep inhale and as you exhale you're going to just sit back onto your heels we're going to take our hands and clasp them behind our head pull your elbows back now you're going to inhale here tuck the tailbone exhale lower your head all the way down to your mat keep your booty on your heels inhale up Using the core of your body, exhale down. Powerful breath, powerful. Try to keep the back nice and straight. When you inhale, pull the heart and chest open. Strengthening the core. 
nice long deep breaths. Finding that perfect pose for you. Giving yourself your all. Step your feet together, please. And we're going to inhale as the left leg stretches high. Stretch it up into the sky. Maybe come up on the right toe. Breathe. On your next exhale, bend the left knee. Let that heel float towards the right. Spiral the hips up. Good. One more inhale here. And exhale, slowly swing that leg all the way forward. Press and pose on the opposite side, slowly coming up. Finding that one spot to focus your gaze on. And sinking into it. Slow, deep breaths here. Finding your breath. Touch each finger together in prayer position. And as you exhale, head comes down to the mat. And we breathe. Taking these sacred moments in between the poses to refuel, replenish, and give yourself your all yogis. This pose right here, child's pose, there's many benefits from calming the body to relaxing the nervous system. So just breathe. Try to relax even deeper in this space. Allow yourself to feel nurtured and comforted, whole and complete. 
Let's say one more deep inhale together. And as you exhale, we're going to begin to roll the body back up into a tabletop position. And from tabletop, we're simply going to press up into a downward dog. Just take a few more deep breaths right here. Maybe walk the feet in place a little bit. Just inviting some more movement. Inviting stretching down into the backs of the legs. Good. We're going to inhale, stretch the right leg back up behind us. And as you exhale, we're going to crunch it forward, all the way forward. Place the foot down and then drop that left knee down. And we're going to wiggle that foot to the opposite edge of the mat. And we're going to lower the knee down, coming into pigeon pose. So the front leg is bent. The hips are squared off to the front of the mat. And then your back leg, push your back leg back behind you. Good. That's it. So this might be enough right here. On an inhale, you're going to tilt the chin up to the sky, arch the back. And as you exhale, if you feel it, you can walk forward onto the elbows here. And in this position, try not to let the head just dangle down. Try to either keep the head in line with the spine, or you can take your fist, stack your fists, and then lower the forehead onto the stacked fists. Good. Now, what you're going to do is shift a little bit through the hips, a little to the right and a little to the left. Try to find that spot where you can go just a little bit deeper. And this might be really tight. I know it is for me sometimes. So the deeper you can breathe, the more you can let go, the more you can relax, the deeper you will go. it you're slowing the breath down even if it's tight try breathing deep into that tightness try to expand with each in breath and sink a little deeper with each exhale good now i invite you to make any adjustments that you need to to feel a little more comfortable 10 percent more comfortable we've just got about three more breaths Twisting the spine a little to the right, a little to the left. Maybe you want to arch up a little bit. Last moment, we're going to take a deep inhale together. And as you exhale, gently place the hands at the top of the mat. And we're going to unwind that leg and press back into downward facing dog. And this is just a transition. We're going to shake out that leg a little bit. Bounce the hips out, just shake out any of that stuck or stagnant energy, wiggle the body, and then place the foot down. Now we're going to balance that out. So inhale, let that left leg extend all the way up. Now as you exhale, crunch the knee to the nose, shift the weight forward, lower the foot down, lower the knee down, wiggle that foot to the opposite edge of the mat, and then let the knee float down. And what you want to do is your back leg, you want to drive it back behind you. This is going to help your hips sink down a little deeper. Good. And this might be enough right here. So if you want to take it a little further, we're going to inhale, tilt the chin up, arch up. As you exhale, slowly and carefully lower down to the elbows. Some of you may be able to walk the hands all the way out, but no worries. If you're not there, that's not the end goal. The end goal is to be focused in this posture, even though we're just holding it and breathing, try to stay with it. Make each breath smooth and intentional. Try to breathe into the tightness wherever it is, whether it's in the front hip, or the back hip, or the glutes, or the lower spine. Good. Making any of those shifts or adjustments that you need to get a little deeper. Good. Last little bit. Inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to press the hands down and slowly unfold out of the posture. 
And again, step the foot back and we're gonna lift up into downward dog. And now begin to shake that left leg out. Just shake it out, let it move, let it twist. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then place the foot down. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, we're gonna shift the weight forward all the way into plank position. And then slowly, we're gonna ride the breath all the way down. Good, now on an inhale, we're gonna push the body back up. I know I tricked some of you guys. <laughs> and as an exhale, we're gonna slowly lower down. We're gonna do three of these, nice and slow. And then inhale, push back up. That's two. Exhale, slowly lower down, stay smooth. Last one, inhale, push up. Exhale, we're gonna slowly lower all the way down. That's it. Release the hands, turn the head to one side, and then come relaxing all the way down onto the belly. We take three deep breaths here. And again, this is your opportunity to relax. Your opportunity to just drop out and let it all go. And every time we come into this relaxed position, Bring your awareness to your breath. Deepen your breath. That's it, you guys. Just a few more exercises. So now we're going to bring the hands back up underneath the shoulders. Keep those legs stretched behind you. And on an inhale, we're going to come up into a baby cobra. So we're just lifting the chest and the shoulders and the head off the ground. The belly touches down. The hands are just below the shoulders with maybe just a little bit of pressure into the earth, or even if you want, they can be weightless here. Good, take a few deep breaths. Point the toes and the legs behind you. Good, now on an inhale, we're gonna extend the arms straight forward, and we're gonna lift the legs off the ground. We're gonna take three deep breaths here. you exhale, we're going to bend the knees, reach around and clasp the outsides of the ankles or the feet. And then you're going to push the feet into the hands and it's going to help you lift up. This is lying bow pose. The knees ideally are lifted off the ground. Let your whole body rock gently from right to left. That's it. Just do your best. Breathe. Inhale, tilt the chin up to the sky. And as you exhale, let the chin fall towards the chest. And take three deep breaths right into the back of the neck. Good. On an inhale, we're going to lift back up. Try to lift everything. Hold. And exhale, release. Release the feet. And nice and slow, we're going to come rolling over onto our backs. We're going to get ready for our final posture, our final little sequence right here. And it's going to be a deep spinal stretch. And it's plow position. So getting yourself ready here. We're going to bring the knees up into the chest. We're going to be kicking the legs up and over the head, so make any shifts or adjustments that you need to. So take a deep inhale as you are, and as you exhale, you're going to push the legs up and over the head, bring the hips above the shoulders, and let the feet come down towards the earth. And in this position, try to wiggle the weight of the body, wiggle the shoulders a little closer. And then your hands can either be at the small of the back, down on the earth, or you can even reach up and try to touch your toes above your head. And just take some long, deep breaths right here. Try to get nice, big, full belly breaths. And making any shifts or adjustments Let the feet wiggle to the right a little bit. And to the left. Good, now we're gonna take our hands to the lower back, palms are flush. 
Bring the elbows a little closer, and then on an inhale, we're gonna lift the legs straight up, all the way up and do a shoulder stand. And do your best, maybe you can get right here, and that's okay. But we're trying to stack the feet above the hips. Good, some long deep breaths, that's it you guys. Good, here we go, we're gonna inhale, let the legs open wide. And for these last three breaths, invite in any movement to the legs that feels good. Here we go, inhale, straighten the legs. And as you exhale, the knees float all the way down to the ears. You're gonna reach up, clasp the outsides of the feet, straighten the legs, and slowly lower the spine down. Try to lower so the tailbone touches down, but keep those legs straight. We're in an inverted forward fold. Good. Just a few more deep breaths. Let the body gently shake or uh, move to the right and to the left. Now let the knees bend and come all the way out to the ribs, side of the ribs. We're coming to a happy baby here. And in this position, the hips are open. The lower back and tailbone is touching down. You're gently twisting to the right and the left. And then if you can, try to straighten those legs and come into a reverse straddle right here. Last little bit. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring the knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around the legs. Bring the nose up into the knees. Give yourself a giant hug. Tell yourself, I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. And then release the arms, release the legs, and you're going to come unfolding onto your mat all the way down. And in this position, you find your most restful, relaxed posture as we close out here with this sound experience for you to literally synchronize all of this breath, all of this movement into your body. So the deeper you can relax here, the more you will benefit. Really allow yourself to drop out. If there's any last little wiggles or movement that you need to get out, now is a good time to do it. Because when you come into this final pose, try to let your body relax as deeply as you can. And try to be as still as possible. So together, we're gonna take a nice big deep inhale Hold at the top for five, four, three, two. Open the mouth, sigh it out.
person. I struggle and I sparkle. I'm no longer afraid to say what makes me angry, sad, or what I think is unfair. I'm not scared to admit that at times I feel worthless, lost, or not enough. I'm also not hiding from love, beauty, aliveness, magic, or abundance anymore. I will not edit the sad, angry, or fucked up parts of my story, or the holy magnitude of my triumphs to make anyone comfortable. I am a real person. I struggle and I sparkle. I am a real person. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Every breath, begin to deepen more and more into your body. Just go ahead and let the fingertips and toes begin to wiggle and move. Letting the wrists and ankles begin to twist and turn, and stretch and reach. We take the hands and we stretch them up and over the head and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Then relax even deeper as you bring the knees up into the chest. Take your hands on top of the knees. We're going to rub the feet together, rub the soles of the feet. Soles of the feet, the palms together. Then wrap the arms around the legs. Give yourself a giant hug again. Fill your cup up with that self-love. It's so important. Then when you're ready, begin to rock yourself up and down, up and down on your spine. Rocking up, down. Do this a handful of times. Adjusting, massaging, aligning. Good, and then you're gonna, one more time, rock all the way up into a seated position as we close out our practice here today. Do your best to keep your eyes closed, stay within. Take your hands, bring them together in prayer position, let the thumbs touch into the center of the chest. And in these final moments, as we breathe here together, let's combine our collective energy right here and as a prayer, send it out to anywhere and everywhere it's needed on this planet. And with it, we send peace and love and joy, happiness, prosperity, love and light as far out as we can send it around the earth and even beyond. And then thinking of one person in your life that needs this boost that you wish could be here today to experience this, send them some of that love in the form of a light and see them receiving it smiling, integrating it, and then reflecting it right back at you, strengthening your light even more. And then we thank this space, the space shift that we get to practice in here today, and wherever you're practicing, at home or with friends, just have a moment of gratitude for this space. And then letting the chin fold down into the chest, turning inward in this final moment, acknowledging yourself, the teacher and master that is you, being revealed in every moment. And then we extend this gratitude to all of our teachers and our mentors, and all of those that have helped us along this path. We thank you so much. And together, take a nice big deep inhale. Sealing in this love, this gratitude, this honoring. And as you exhale, Relax even deeper. Satnam. Satnam. Namaste. Namaste. Aho. Blessed be. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yay. We did it. You guys did it. And we thank you so much for joining us today, Caitlin and Jonathan here in yeah. the studio. Yeah. Jenny, our... Selena, 
Crystal, Angelica, Jane, everybody that joined us, we love yeah. you. And to all the future participants that will be taking this class, we're gonna keep it on our Facebook page. We're also gonna have it uh, up on our YouTube so you guys can retake this class anytime. We also record all of the audio for these classes, and that's on our podcast. You can literally go to iTunes under podcast, look up Yoga Galactica. Yeah. And we're there. You can also check it out on our website. Um, we thank you guys. All of our classes Hi, are... Hi, Vander. Hi, Selena. <laughs> all of our classes are donation-based, and we greatly appreciate your contributions and donations. Um, you can send them via PayPal to Yoga Galactica at Gmail or Venmo at Yoga Galactica. And uh, we greatly appreciate it. We greatly appreciate you. And just know that these classes are available regardless of your financial situation. We want everybody to be able to have these tools and to be able to practice. So thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, thank our, you. our next class is going to be tomorrow night, Thursday night, 7.30 right. p.m. here in the Space Shift. We encourage you guys to come in and get this juicy, juicy refill, uh, re-energize, and it's awesome. We've got a great community. Uh, we love you guys so much. We're constantly doing amazing things, and we have our upgrade retreat scheduled in the books, March 19th through 22nd. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have it up on our website and create an event, so stay posted. It's gonna be life-changing. We love you guys. Turn it over to you. Anything you want to add? Just want to remind you that now that you've given back to yourself, please go out. Be that light. Be in service. See past the labels, the gender, the skin color, all of that, and just see human beings for who they are, doing their best, just like you. Thank you guys so much. We love you. We love you. We love you. Go out. Be the lighthouse, and we'll see you back here soon. Remember to upgrade. No more aging. We're done. <laughs> woo woo! <laughs> Bye, Vander. Bye, Bye Selena. you guys. Have Bye. a great rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in.